It will, one imagines, be a rather sheepish Philippe Coutinho that returns to Melwood next week. After a summer of speculation, Liverpool's Brazilian star must now face facts HES staying on Merseyside, at least for the time being. Barcelona's interest has been resisted, their increasingly desperate tactics have not paid off. Coutinho's future, short and medium term, is at Anfield not camp now. Unlucky, as Lucas Lever might say. It was the story of the week, runaway players being left disappointed. Coutinho aside, the window passed without moves materialising for Alexis Sanchez, Ross Barkley, Riyad Mahrez, Diego Costa Virgil van Dijk. So much for player power, you might say. Oh to be a fly on the wall when those players report for duty at their clubs. There are some awkward conversations to be had at training grounds up and down the country, that's for sure. So what now for Coutinho, once he returns from international duty here are the questions which remain unanswered for now. Will Klopp be ready to forgive the big one, really? We have seen already during Klopp's time on Merseyside that those who threaten the balance, success and harmony of his team will be dealt with strongly. This week, of course, Mamadou Sakho was eventually sold, more than 16 months after his last Liverpool appearance. Sacco's crime was different to Coutinho's, and some would argue the Frenchman's antics were less damaging to the club, but once the trust had gone between player and manager, he was finished. Klopp, quite simply, was not for turning. Will he treat Coutinho similarly, or will allowances be made for the Brazilian special talent in Hong Kong? Klopp met with his number 10 and told him he understood his desire to play for Barcelona, but that Liverpool simply weren't selling. A fortnight later, Coutinho was darking out of training with a sore back, emailing a transfer request on the eve of the new league season. Later, his camp were briefing that his relationship with the manager had been souring for at least six months, a rather brazen and transparent attempt to edge himself closer to camp now. It didn't work, of course, and Klopp gave a thumbs up when asked about his own feelings towards the player later in the month. The question is whether that relationship is salvageable now. It was interesting to read Uri Zahin, a former Liverpool player and former disciple of Klopp's at Dortmund, talk about the German's reaction when he informed of him of his desire to join Real Madrid in 2011. Jürgen understood, and he told me to follow my heart, Zahin said. Uri, it is your choice, he told me. But if you leave, you must know, I will always be on your side. You are my friend forever. Hope still, then, for Coutinho Barcelona's Philippe Coutinho claims laughed off by Liverpool Philippe Coutinho of Liverpool during a training session image Andrew Powell of Apple FC via Getty images Coutinho to make Liverpool return after being denied Barcelona move is Coutinho willing to knuckle down another key one. Of all the things Coutinho has done this summer, his back injury is the hardest for fans to forgive. They smelt a rat as soon as he was left out of Liverpool's squad for the game with Athletic Bilbao in Dublin last month. Days passed, weeks passed, no sign of the star man on the training field, doing what HES paid handsomely to do. Worse still, having sat at his club's first five competitive fixtures, his back was then miraculously better by the time he joined up with the Brazilian national team this week. Stress was the cause of it all, said the medical team. Poor lad. Coutinho looked sharp, and scored, as Brazil beat Ecuador in the World Cup qualifier on Thursday. Would he be as motivated and as hungry wearing red instead of yellow if he is, then what a bonus for Liverpool. Liverpool's Philippe Coutinho appears injured during the Premier League match at Vicarage Road Image P.A.Y. Will he make a public statement? Not a huge issue, on the face of it, but interesting nonetheless. Coutinho himself has remained silent throughout this increasingly fraught summer, with media instead briefed by his representatives, Maymar and mysterious family members about his dissatisfaction. Speaking on his regular Poetry in Motion podcast, Neil Fitzmaurice suggested that Coutinho would be well advised to offer his side of the story in an interview with The Echo, speaking directly to fans and offering mitigation, apologies or whatever else he wishes. Unlikely, granted, but it will be interesting to see if, or indeed when, Coutinho chooses to put his head above the parapet, and what he has to say for himself when he does.
Roberto Firmino, Philippe Coutinho and Alberto Marino of Liverpool at the end of the Premier League Asia Trophy match against Leicester City FC at the Hong Kong Stadium on July 22, 2017 Image photo by John Powell of Liverpool FC via Gertie Images Will his teammates have a problem? Unlikely, given his standing in the dressing room. Coutinho is a popular figure in the squad, loved for his talent and liked for his quiet nature. It is hard to imagine, say, James Milner or Jordan Henderson behaving as the Brazilian has done this summer, but by the same token it is hard to imagine him having an issue reintegrating himself into to the group. Especially if his feet are doing the talking on the pitch. That said, they are entitled to believe that they have shown in his absence that they can cope without him. His path back into the starting eleven must be earned, not gifted. With Klopp, that will not be an issue. Liverpool's Mohamed Salah Wright celebrates scoring his side's third goal with teammate Sadio main image Daniel Hamber at the wire how much do Liverpool need him are, the final one. Firstly, don't let the Reds' decent start to the campaign trick you. Coutinho is still the best footballer at the club. He was Liverpool's top scorer last season, and the responsibility he takes in terms of getting on the ball and looking to create has been growing and growing. Klopp's third choice front three looks pretty nailed down, with Sadio Mane and Mo Salah flanking Roberto Firmino, but there is absolutely a place for Coutinho among the midfield three, where he would add dynamism, dribbling skills and shooting prowess. The Reds head for Manchester City on Saturday, a ground Coutinho has traditionally done well at. It would be a surprise if he were to start, but not if he were to be among the substitutes. A fit, focused Coutinho remains a huge asset to Klopp's side. Hopefully, they have that sooner rather than later.